to Costco Aerospace. Uh, on this video I'll be talking about a uh, type of uh, uh, jet engine uh, uh, by name uh, turbofan engine. Uh, the turbofan engine is a, a variant of jet engine that uh, was derived from the turbojet engine which was an older type of engine. Uh, in the turbojet engine the, the airflow uh, passed through the core of the engine it is uh, after sanctioned by the compressor section, delivered to the combustion section and fed with fuel and ignited uh, to drive the turbine section and uh, uh, the exhaustive flux used to uh, drive the, the aircraft forwards by action reaction. Uh, the turbofan engine uh, had a new inclusion which is the fan. And uh, the turbo fan uh, can be split into two, that is turbo and the fan. Uh, the turbo uh, means uh, a gas turbine engine which derives its mechanical energy by uh, combustion, that is combustion of a mixture of uh, air and uh, fuel and uh, introduction of an ignition source which uh, propels the turbine and uh, by propelling the turbine, the turbine is able to drive the compressor. Uh, to a point where by it's uh, self-sustaining. Uh, the fan uh, derives this mechanical energy from the low pressure turbine which is driven by the, the hot uh, gases which are em emanating from the combustion chamber after combustion uh, of the air fuel mixture. Uh, the fan in the turbo fan uh, passes a large ratio of its uh, air through a bypass duct uh, with a minimal uh, airflow going through the core. Uh, this uh, leads to greater efficiency and uh, with this the thrust levels are immensely high. And uh, in the turbo fan we see paper ratios uh, higher than uh, 4 to 1. 4 to 1 meaning that uh, 4 is the airflow that is bypassing the engine through the, uh, the bypass duct and uh, 1 is the ratio of the air that is going through the core of the engine. For the early engines, the turbo jets, you could see 0 0.2 to 1, 1 to 1 ratios, uh, which were quite low, and uh, you found that uh, most of these uh, turbo jet engines, uh, you may find them in some um, earlier uh, fighter jets, and uh, also in uh, earlier commercial aircraft. Uh, but uh, we saw that uh, in these types of engines, the noise levels were quite high, and uh, it reached a point where, by, uh, due to regulations on noise, uh, most of these engines had to be retrofitted with the ash kits. Uh, ash kits are these are devices that are fitted to the exhaust section of the turbojet engines uh, to increase the mixing rate of the core air and the uh, surrounding air and thus uh, cut the noise levels such that the aircraft can be allowed to land in uh, several airports where the restrictions on noise are high. Uh, for the turbofan engine uh, we mainly have uh, the common types are uh, uh, twin spool and uh, triple spool. Uh, a spool, this is a shaft which connects uh, a compressor section and a turbine section. Uh, for a twin spool, you have uh, the HP, that is the high pressure and the low pressure. Uh, the HP section is uh, uh, made up of the high pressure compressor and high pressure turbine, which are connected by a shaft, and uh, we have the low pressure compressor connected to the low pressure turbine. Uh, turbo fans also we have different uh, we have uh, for the triple spool type we have uh, fans which are connected directly to the low pressure turbine and we also have types which are uh, geared uh, by a, a, a gearing system which reduces the the spinning velocity of the fan and thus uh, increasing its efficiency by reducing its tip speeds and uh, with this we have a, a greater mass flow and a greater thrust without uh, having a high penalty on the engine and driving the fan. Uh, for this turbo fan, it, it, the turbo fan is um, employed in both commercial and uh, uh, military applications. Uh, within with the the largest turbo fan seen uh, attached and used by the the Boeing triple seven three hundred Boeing triple seven two hundred uh, LR aircrafts. And uh, with this aircraft, uh, uh, we find the thrust levels uh, in excess of 115,000 pounds. 
with a world record thrust of 127,000 pounds of thrust, uh, which is immensely high, and uh, it's quite uh, uh, so such that uh, so that it can be able to propel this aircraft even with a, a single engine failure. Uh, thus, uh, the requirement of uh, such high high thrust. Uh, in the military versions of uh, turbofans, most uh, military turbofans are uh, have an inclusion of uh, after burning, uh, whereby uh, a section uh, aft of the exhaust is included, whereby additional fuel is uh, added to the hot stream that is coming from the turbine, uh, reigniting the fuel and uh, increasing the thrust uh, and uh, increasing also the performance of the fighter jets so that they're able to achieve the high speeds that are required uh, in military applications. I'd like to thank you so much for those who've uh, subscribed to my channel uh, Cosquero Space and uh, for those who have not subscribed yet I'd like to encourage you to subscribe to my channel. I'll be able to get updates on new videos that I'll be posting as time goes by. Uh, thank you so much for your support. I appreciate your support and thank you so much.